Jacobs here today. Uh, hey, I just wanted to do a quick intro to this video. I wanted to show you. Um, I want to post this uh, session that I had with this lovely client uh, who is also a uh, quantum healing practitioner as well. And I'll put her links to her website uh, down in the description. But it, it absolutely amazes me the amount of shit that we have picked up over this lifetimes, many lifetimes, other lifetimes, and uh, we're carrying around like baggage, just absolutely amazing to me. And uh, we just never knew it. I started out in this journey to uh, get to the root cause of, of what is causing the illnesses and ailments that we have today. Because it always seems like if you go in for a treatment for something, it just ends up coming back a lot of times. Um, doesn't seem to go away. Well, I think there's a lot of stuff still stuck in there and we weren't getting to the root cause. With uh, When we're dealing in the quantum uh, fields, I believe we're getting to the root cause and we're able to release that and release this heavy baggage that has been uh, holding us down for years. So uh, in this session, we... I assisted removing three dark entities, one of which was in the throat. Um, and I, I'll tell you, you can hear it in the, in the video that my throat got tight and uh, I was holding back a cough and I couldn't really get my words out. I kept stumbling over them. So you kind of can see that in the, in the session video. But uh, so I believe that dark entity was affecting my throat. So I couldn't uh, do what I needed to do, but, once I showed it the light, it was actually uh, had released and, and it went a lot better. So uh, take a look at this video. It's uh, pretty amazing all the way through, good information through it, because I think a lot of us suffer from the same things that this uh, lovely client suffered from as well. And um, make sure you subscribe, like, and share this video. I'll see you soon. That should not be there. Pass your awareness down the body, starting at the head. And let me know if you find anything. Throat. If that energy in the throat, tell me what that feels like. It feels heavy. Heavy. Dark. Stuck. If that stuck energy that feels heavy in the throat had a consciousness and something to say, what would it say? We want to stop her from talking. that heavy, dark energy that is in the throat, feeling stuck, and wants to stop this one in the bed from talking. We have found you. I'm going to have my friend Michael place a net of white light around this energy. And we're going to give that dark, heavy energy in the throat that wants to stop this one in the bed, a voice. I command you to speak to me. What are you doing 
with this one in the bed. Causing harm. Tell me more about you causing harm to this one in the bed. How would you do that? Strangle her. Why? Tell me more about why you want to strangle this one in the bed more. We do. We want to. Tell me how you came to be attached with this one in the bed. We came into her. You were very clever. How did you yes. get in? How did you get in there? We jumped in one day. How old was 17. she? 17. She was 17. Tell me more about you jumping in to this one in the bed's body at 17. What was your purpose? To stop her from talking, sharing. Yes, her light is very bright. Why would you, why would you want them to stop, her to stop talking and sharing? Yes, her light is too bright. Too bright. Mm. Uh, I am sure that you don't know this because your masters told you that you do not have a light, but you do. Mm. Did, did you know that? No. Our job is to stop her from talking, sharing, sharing her light. Who, we have no purpose other than that. Who has made you stop this one in the bed's light from shining and stop her from sharing her light? Satan. Satan. Interesting. You realize that you have as much power and control and you have, <clears throat> have that light within you. How do you control her light in the throat? We stop her words. We prevent her from sharing. Do you have some kind of AI with you that no. contr controls her mind and her heart as well? No. Well, it's good. That's a secret anyways. We don't want to share that with you. Oh, but we're in a conversation today and we're going to help you. Wouldn't you like to have that control and that light and not be controlled by your masters? Oh. 
possible. Why do you say it's not possible? It's my job. That's what I'm supposed to do. That's my job. Well, dear, that's what your masters have told you. They've told you that you have no light and you're of the light. But everything is of the light. Everyone contains mm. that spark inside them. Would you like to see? Mm. I'm going to have Archangel Raphael help you to see that light. Look inside your chest. Can you see that spark? Did you say it's there? Tiny. Very tiny. We're going to have all the archangels make that 50 times as big as what you are. How does that feel? Um, Would you like to have uh, more feelings of that? Yes. So yes. We're, we're going to have Michael, Raphael, and all the archangels help you to make it larger than you are so you can feel that light. How does that feel? Yes, good, good. Very good. And isn't that a most excellent feeling? What do you feel yes. in that white light? Free, freer. Are you ready? I still feel chained down. But we are here to help you today, to release you today. Are you wanting to experience more of this free feeling that you feel in this white light? Yes. I'm going to have Archangel Uriel and Ezreal be waiting for you. And Archangel Michael is going to gently release you out from this one in the bed in the white net of light. And when he does, I want you to release all of your energy from this one in the bed. When I count backwards from three to one. Three, detaching all your energy from this one in the bed. Two, Archangel Michael's gently pulling you out of the throat. And I want this one in the bed to feel that as it's pulled out. One, completely out now in the white light of source. Before we go, before Archangel Uriel and Azrael escort you to the light, is there anything that you would like to say to this one in the bed? Sorry. I have taken over your speech. <coughs> Cough it out.
Is there anything that this one in the bed would like to say to this energy that was in the throat that Archangel Michael helped to remove? I am happy. You're free. Excellent. Now, as we watch that energy go into the light with the archangels so it can repair and help, we are going to flood that area that it taken up with a color. What color would make that area fill in with healing? Blue. Sky blue. Beautiful. That is color of Archangel Michael's. His ray. We're going to envision that frequency of sky blue color flooding that area. And I want this one in the bed to feel that sky blue frequency filling in every energy or place where that energy was lodged. You feel that flooding in taking up that space. Yes. <clears throat> Tell me how that feeling in the throat feels now. It feels light and spacious somehow. Beautiful. Beautiful. And we'll have Archangel Michael continue with that healing and flooding that area with the sky blue light as we continue on. And in a very detached way again, I would like you to scan your body and let me know if there is any pain or discomfort, anxiety or anger, or feelings of dense energy. There's feelings so of fear in my solar plexus area. Like I should be yes. So that feeling of heaviness and fear in your solar plexus if it had a if it had a color what color would it be? Brown. Brown. Beautiful. I'm going to have Archangel Michael place his sparkly white net of light around that feeling of fear and heaviness in the solar plexus. And if that dark brown feeling of fear and heaviness in the solar plexus had a voice, what would it say? Kate. that feeling brown feeling of heaviness and fear would say 
hate? Yes, it's hate. We're hate, it's hate. We are hate. Hmm. Can I ask for that brown, fearful, heavy energy feeling of hate to move to the throat, please, so that they can speak. Who am I speaking with today? that brown energy in the solar plexus. You are- We've been here a long time. We've been here before she was born. Interesting, before she was born. We came in with her. We are many. Mm -hmm. Well, that brown energy, feeling of hate. How did you come to be with this one in the bed? I know it was before she was born, but how did you get in there? We came in through her DNA. We came into her that way. How did We're very you... clever. Yes, you are. How did you get in there into her DNA? Another lifetime. Interesting. You are very clever. Who told you to get in there in another lifetime? Or how did you find and get in there in her DNA in another lifetime? Our boss, our director. The goal is to get rid of these light workers, if you will, replace our energy, which is much more powerful. Interesting. Tell me more about who gave you that job to get into the light workers and control their energy. Lucifer, 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 Lucifer. Uh, Well, we're here to help you today. I bet you, Lucifer, did not tell you that you are of light as well. Do you know that? Nonsense. Well, it's true. Your masters have been lying to you this whole time. They've been controlling you leading you to believe that you are not of the light. We're powerful. We oh, don't yes. need light. Yes, you are. You are powerful. But you have been lied to by your masters. You have been told that you are more powerful than the light. And the light is way more powerful than the dark. Why don't you do me a favor, and I'm going to have my friends, the Archangels, show you and assist in intensifying that light that is already inside you. Look in there, in your chest, 
where the heart is if you would have a body. Do you have a body? No. Describe to me what you are. Pieces of energy, a bunch of us, a whole bunch, thousands. Hmm. Are you the spokesman for these thousands of pieces of energy? Yes. So you we're all one mind, one energy, so one. Very clever, very clever. More yes. is better than one. So mm. you look inside yourself, deep inside. And my friends are going to help intensify. You will find a spark of light in there. Tell me when you see it. I do. I do. Now, I'm going to have my friends, Michael, intensify that light to make it 50 times your size of the many. Tell me when that happens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How does that feel? Weird. Weird. Tell me yeah. more about how that feels weird. I've never felt this feeling. Tell me more about that feeling. How does it feel? Light. It feels not oozing, yucky, dark. It feels excellent. Uh, yeah. Would you like to experience more of this beautiful feeling? Of lightness? Mm. Yes. We're going to expand this light bigger, larger than yourself, so it encompasses all of you, all of the many. Let me know when that has happened. And as we encompass all of you in this light of white light of source, tell me how that feels. The pain is gone. The fear. Beautiful. Beautiful. And your masters never told you that being in the light and being of the light felt so good. No. Is that correct? They didn't tell us. Would you like to experience more of this feeling where you be can become more powerful, where you can go to the light and you can decide? Yes, we would. Beautiful. <clears throat> now I'm going to have Archangel Michael gently remove that those energies of the many from this one in the bed, solar plexus. When I count backwards from one to three, and I'm going to have all the archangels standing around this one in the bed to assist these many energies into the light of source. Three, gently coming up and out of the solar plexus. And I want this one in the bed to feel that energy being released from the solar plexus. Two, almost out now. 
going into the lightest source. One, completely outside now. In this one in the bed, do you feel that release of the energies? Yes. The many energies, the brown energies, the feelings. Do you have anything to say before you move into the light, to this one in the bed? We deeply regret how we have held on to you for so long. We're sorry for the pain we have caused. Beautiful. Does this one in the bed have anything to say for these many energies that have been giving her feelings of hate and heaviness? Thank you for leaving. Thank you for setting me free. Beautiful. Now, as we watch those energies of the many be escorted by the archangels into the light of source, we need to fill that void left by the many with the healing light. What color frequency of healing light would work to fill that void? green. Excellent. That is the ray of Archangel Raphael. We're going to have Raphael surround you with her green light. Feel that frequency. Fill, completely fill the void left from those feeling of the many the heavy feeling of anger and hate and fearfulness. Feel that energy and frequency of the green light fill in all that space. Tell me how that feels. It still <clears throat> hurts a bit, but it feels lighter. Beautiful. It feels lighter. Can I speak to this one in the bed's higher self so we can check to make sure that all that energy was removed from the solar plexus. Yes. Can you do a scan of this one in the bed and scanner in the solar plexus to make sure that all that energy has been removed? It has. It has. Beautiful. Can you assist in her healing to fill in that void left? Yes. How would you do that for us? Bring in more light. Bring in more. Beautiful. Now, since The higher self is here with us. We want to scan the rest of this one in the bed's body to make sure that everything that is not of her best and highest good be located and removed. Let me know if there is anything found
There is. There is a dark serpent energy in her colon. If this dark serpent energy in her colon had a color, what would it be? Black. Black. So if this dark serpent energy in the colon had a voice and could say something, what would it say? Leave me alone. Beautiful. <laughs> we are going to have Archangel Michael surround this black serpent energy in the colon, completely encompassing it all in the white net of the white light of source. Now that this dark black energy in the colon, serpent energy in the colon is found, we found you out. We know you're there. We have you wrapped in the white light of source, a net by Archangel Michael. I command you to speak to me. Why are you there? We're here to cause our harm. Tell me more. How you would cause her harm. In every aspect of her life. Tell me more about how you would do that. We're very powerful energy. We take it. We suck the energy out of her. We're very strong. And we pass it up the line. Mm. <clears throat> Especially at night. That is very We clever. take her energy. Yes, 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 we are. How did you come to be with this one in the bed to siphon her energy and to take it at nighttime? We came into her as a child. How old was she? She when was seven. Kids? She was seven. Do you just tell me more about? what you look like. We're a snake. Snake. We're black. Right. We can go around her body, taking her energy, taking her food, taking, it's been a remarkable partnership. This, Although she doesn't know. Well, this is a free will universe. And you do not have her permission to be taking her energy. Who told you? Or who are you giving her energy to? The dark ones. Dark entities. Dark. Our God. Mm. All... Wow, you are very powerful and very clever. 
for hiding there this long. Yes. At seven years old, what happened that she was able, that you were able to get in there? <clears throat> we came into her being when she was not at her best, she was ill. Mm. It was perfect. Very clever. Yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, your masters, I am sure, have not told you this because they control you and they're taking her energy. And she needs that energy. This is a free will universe and you do not have permission to be there. And just as well, your masters do not, cannot control you. And they would have lied to you and told you you are of the dark. Do you know that you are of the light? Mm. No. That each one of us has a spark of source inside of us. And that spark of source is more powerful than the dark. And your masters do not want you to know that. They want you so they can be controlling of you. What do you think about that? Interesting. Would you like to experience that light of source? Not sure about that. You have it. We're also. very powerful. Oh, but you can be so much more powerful with the light of source. What I want you to do since your masters lied to you. I want you to look deep inside of what you are. There's a tiny spark. It might be tiny. We're going to have our friends, the archangels, intensify that light so you can see it. Let me know when you can see it. Yes. There. We're going to have our friends, the Archangels and Archangel Michael, make that spark, that white light of source, 50 times your size. Tell me when you see it. I see it. How does that feel? Good. Describe to me how that feels. I feel free, light. Would you like to experience more than that? And you could become more powerful than you ever were. Sure. Well, let's just have our friends help. And we're going to expand that light to surround you completely. Tell me how that feels. I feel different. I never felt that way. Tell me more of how that feels. I feel the crying. Beautiful. It's good to get those emotions out. Would you like us to assist you to move? 
towards the light and become the light where yes. you can be more powerful and not be controlled by your masters any longer. Yes, I do. Beautiful. We're going to count backwards from three to one. And Archangel Michael is going to gently raise you as you detach from this one in the bed. Going to take all of your energy with you when you go. And this one in the bed is going to feel that energy lift off you. Three, Archangel Michael pulling all the energy of the dark serpent energy from the colon, pulling it up and out. Two, almost out now. This one in the bed can feel it lifting. And one, completely out now. And in the white light of source. But before you go, is there anything that you would like to say to this one in the bed? I have caused so much harm. I am very sorry. Beautiful. Thank you for that. Now, does this one in the bed have anything to say to this dark serpent energy that is of the light now? I forgive you. Beautiful. And as we watch this energy go with the archangels into the light of source where it can do whatever it wants and heal and be more powerful. We are going to flood that area with healing light frequency. What color light would feel that void left by that dark serpent energy? Pink. Pink. Envision that pink flood frequency of light flooding the void that was left behind by that serpent energy. You will never more be caused harm. Feel it, feel it flooding that energy and tell me more about how that feels. It feels different, uh, lighter. Like a space. Mm, beautiful. So now that that dark serpent energy is gone, you probably won't be as affected with pain and discomfort in that colon area. And we're going to continue that healing. And I ask the archangels and our healing teams to continue that healing over the next three days. And we're going to scan the body again in a very detached way and take notice to any energies or feelings or discomfort and pain that does not belong there. good 
what you see and experience. I see the sea. The sea, beautiful. Tell me more about the sea that you see. I'm looking out at it. It's warm here. Very peaceful. <coughs> Tell me, tell me more about where you're sitting at the sea. I'm with other people, with a group of people. Beautiful. Do you get the sense that those people that you're with, that you know them? Yes. Beautiful. Do you get the sense that you have worked with them before or been with them before? Yes, we know each other well. Beautiful. Tell me more about how you look at the beach, looking over the sea. <laughs> with these other people that you've been with before? Tell me more about how you look. Can you look down at your feet? Do you have feet? Yeah. You know? I'm, a, I'm a female. I'm wearing some kind of a um, pinkish, whitish, dress we all are We're tribe of some sort <clears throat> and, and when you look at your hands do you mm -hmm. notice that you're holding anything Or is there any jewelry on your wrists? We have crystals. We have crystal wands. Beautiful. We are wearing crystals and a crown or a I guess you'd call it a crown on our, <clears throat> our heads. Beautiful. When you think about, tell me more about when you're sitting on this beach with these other people with crystal wands and crystal crowns in a pinkish white dress, do you get the sense of why you were there? We're a highly evolved group of people that Good. heal others, help others to heal from on multi-dimensional levels. <clears throat> we go from different universes to do this. There's about six of us. Mm, six of you. Mm. How do the six of you that are highly evolved and go heal different people in different mm. universes. How do you travel? 
We travel energetically. We our minds. We go in our minds. Beautiful. Do you get the sense that you heal just people or do you heal other things? We heal anything that requires healing, even the planet. Beautiful. And of these six healers sitting on this beach, are they all female? No. There's males. Males. As well. Beautiful. Of these six people that are healers on this beach, are they all... Tell me more of their beingness. Are they human? Are they other beings as no, well? They're, they're not human. They're not human. We're not. Mm, beautiful. We're from a different universe. Tell me more about how you look when you look at your body and look at your faces. We look rather human-like. We have olive-colored skin. We, we have light hair, green eyes. We can talk in words or through our minds. So telepathy, beautiful. And tell me more about how you heal different beings. Is it through telepathy uh, or with your thoughts? We we heal in many ways. We can heal using sounds, water, oh, our thoughts, crystals. Beautiful. Can you tell me more about if, can you heal by touch as well? We don't do that usually. We don't have the need to do that. Beautiful. Can you tell me, do you get a sense of how old you are or what, if whether you're young or old? We are We are whatever we need to be, wherever we go, our energy is very old. Beautiful. So you sense that you've been doing this for a long time. Yes. Beautiful. Do you feel we're going to close this scene? Do you feel as if you've gotten all the information you need from this scene? Yes. Is there any messages from any of the people that you're with? 
we're happy to come into this being's awareness as she often doubts her ability to help heal and help others to understand that they can heal with her guidance. She has been a healer for a very long time. And we are with her. We are always with her. Beautiful. This is the message. Beautiful. Can you tell me more about who I am speaking with? <clears throat> we go by the name Charlotte. Charlotte. She is Charlotte. Mm. And we are her healing tribe. Beautiful. So you assist this one in the bed with healing the work she's doing in this life. She is Charlotte. She is. Does she need to call upon you when she needs assistance? She has forgotten. <clears throat> but we are here today to remind her that she can call upon us. Beautiful. We sit with the Ascendant Master, Jesus Christ. We sit with him. Beautiful. I bet you that is absolutely amazing. Can you describe to us more detail and tell us more about you sitting with the Ascended Master, Jesus? The Ascended Master, Jesus Christ, is always with her. He has been with her in many, many, many lifetimes. And she is one of his care assistants, healers. She has worked with him for many, 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 many lifetimes. He wants her to know he is always here with her. Wherever she is, they go together. Beautiful. Can you tell me how she can open up communication when she needs assistance with Ascended Master Jesus. She just needs to connect with him and she has the ability to hear and know and sense his assistance is here with her. There's nothing she needs to do but to speak to him. Beautiful. 
beautiful. She already can do this and has done this by her uh, she writes types on her computer device and connects directly with him, but she doesn't need to do that. She can't. She can merely speak directly to him. Beautiful. Is there any way that we can either upgrade her DNA, help her to remember how to communicate moving forward? That would be helpful to her because it has been more of a difficulty when it doesn't need to be upgrading her DNA would be of assistance greatly. Would you require anything to accomplish that task today? Or will you do that in her sleep at night? We will do it over the next two days, throughout the days, not just in her sleep, in the daytime. Beautiful. Lovely. She will notice a change in a much deeper connection and much easier for her to connect with both highest self and then assistant master Jesus Christ. Beautiful. Can you tell me more who I'm speaking with right now? You're speaking to her highest self. Beautiful. Is there, we would like to strengthen that connection and communication between this one in the bed and her higher self. Would that be okay to accomplish that today as well? Yes. Beautiful. How will we help her to open communication with her higher self? It is done. Beautiful. And since we are speaking to this one in the bed's higher self right now at this moment, is there anything else in this life of the six healers and the dresses and the crystals highly evolved through dimensions, healing beings, is there any more we need to see from this lifetime? No. Is there any other messages that you want to give to this one in the bed? She is doing very well. Beautiful. Anything else? She's on the right path to help others and herself. 
Beautiful. Yeah, very. very proud of her. And can we request that this healing from this session be continued and keep the auras, the chakras balanced and sealed? Yes. Beautiful. You could have shown this one in the bed many lifetimes today. Why did you show them? lifetime of the healer. It will become very necessary in the next while on this planet Earth for her gifts and to help many who will be suffering. She will be of great service as you will, because that time is very imminent. People will need healers to help them. That's why. Beautiful. Is there any way you could describe to us and tell us more of why we will need healers in the near future? The earth has been a very dark place for some time and the Dark entities have been mostly removed from the planet Earth. There has been so much taken over of the humans. take it over of their freedoms and on many levels and when <coughs> the large amount of people find out how there have been so many atrocities and lies they will become distressed. They will become overwhelmed and will require support on many levels to help them, to stabilize them, to find a way to understand why this happened to had to happen and how the healing can happen for them. Beautiful. So we are going to have our work cut out for us. Yes. You will. But you decided to come down here. The healers made choices. You and Debbie came here and many others for this reason. You are very strong and you will be doing what you came here for. 
beautiful. That is very beautiful. Is there any other messages that you need to share about the healers? Or shall we move on? We are finished. Could I ask you to do a scan of this one in the beds, physical and energetic body, and tell me if there are any entities or energies attached to them that should not be there? She is free. There is not any at this time. Beautiful. They have been removed. Beautiful. Is there any healing or help required <laughs> by the physical body at this time? No, it's not necessary. Are all the chakras spinning and open as they should be? Yes. Are there any upgrades that this one in the bed can benefit from? The DNA upgrade over the next few days. Beautiful, that'll be nice. Are there any AI or implants that are not for the best and highest good of this one in the bed? that we can take out today. She does have something in her <clears throat> eye, her right eye. Can you tell me what that is? It is a device of, of a manner of energetic technology that it's been attached to her, which is capable of changing her and thinking and absorbing her energy So we need to remove that today. That would be good. Does the higher self need any assistance with the removal of this AI device siphoning her energy? Yes. Okay. We're going to help and call in Archangel Metatron because he deals with the technology. We are going to wrap that AI unit in her right eye that is siphoning energy with the white net light of source. Tell me when that is completely around this AI device. It is, goes into her left eye as well. So put the net around both, if you would. Beautiful. We'll surround both eyes to make sure that we accomplish and get all the AI that is in, within this person in the chair, the bed. And we will slowly remove it. Is the net completely around this AI? Yes. Beautiful. So we'll have Archangel Metatron gently remove as we count backwards from one to three. We're gonna have the one in the bed feel this AI being removed and lifted out. Three, Metatron is gently lifting that energy 
that AI, the one in the bed, can feel it detaching and being lifted up gently to almost out now and one completely out now Archangel Metatron can you take that out of this universe and put it where it can be used someplace else that does not belong here in this universe thank you what color light can we flood into that area to promote healing and to fill in that void that the day I left. Purple. Beautiful. Purple light. We're going to have feel that beautiful electric purple light flood that area and continue to heal. And you will feel that energy, that AI being lifted and healed over the next few days. So let's scan the body again and make sure that we have any and all AI implants located in this body today. Good. Clear. Good. We'll also flood those areas that we healed today with the white light of source. And that will carry out through the next three days. Is there any negative cords, energetic cords that need to be cut today? Are there no longer serving the highest good? No, it's good. Beautiful. Now that we know where the this one in the beds well, fears and anger came from today, can we still help and release them today? Yes. Beautiful. And I trust that will be continued out over the next few days and she'll feel lighter and better and more joyful. Yes. Is there any black magic in the body which needs to be removed? No. Beautiful. Is there any missing soul fragments that need to be returned? No. And our chakras and energy centers are spinning beautifully and they're large and vibrant. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Beautiful. Beautiful. So now I would like to ask some of the, this one in the beds questions that she has. Is that okay? It is. Is the pain she has in her colon, which seems to be related to foods that she eats regularly, I believe we saw that today with the snake that was wrapped around her colon. Was it related to that snake that was wrapped around her colon? Yes, it's removed. Will she be feeling uh, more at ease with that entity being removed? She will. Will she her will feel better. Beautiful. Can we get rid of the food sensitivities that was causing her pain and discomfort? That will take 
<clears throat> more time. Beautiful. And I trust that you will have that be healed over time. Yes. She's had a difficulty losing weight. What can she do to be at a normal weight for her body? She can take the <clears throat> iodine and the iodine would the iodine foods that are high in iodine, eat those foods. She has received some supplement which will help her immensely if she takes that. Beautiful. The removal of the entity in her throat around her thyroid will also cause her to be balanced in her thyroid. Beautiful. And I trust that that healing will continue after this session today. Yes. Beautiful. We keep telling her to do one thing. Drink water. Mm -hmm. A lot more water. Beautiful. So she needs to drink more water as well. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Will she be able to help many people hear their trauma using BQH and SCHH? I believe we've got our answer today. That would be true. She needs to take the course, which will help her, help many. Yes. Is there any other um, messages surrounding that that can be expanded on today, or is that complete? She always has her healing tribe and the knowledge that is available through them and the ascended master Jesus Christ that she can call upon to help many. Beautiful. She, the client wants to ask, life has been difficult for people on the planet for years and especially over the past two Will our planet Earth be relieved of the evil that has been keeping humanity slaved? It will be relieved in the sense that many will be and are rising in their vibration. And the what is described in the question as evil will be not available at these higher frequencies. Some will remain in the lower vibrations and that will be until they have raised or increased, if you will, to understand the words, their vibration. So some will remain on the planet until they have reached a level which will, they will not experience this dark energy beautiful she wants to know is it true that humans have been enslaved by things like 
sex trafficking, the central banks, taxes, healthcare system, education, programming through movies, books, education, and our history. Those are all true. Yeah, they are true. That is coming to an end. That will be made public. That will be made aware to those who are aware very soon. Although it will be, it will be quite shocking to even those who are more aware of what has been going on in the planet, on the planet. Beautiful. And that's where us as healers have to step in. That's true. <clears throat> it will be very difficult for many who have had a affiliation, admiration for their politicians or their leaders, if they believe that, their religious leaders. There have been many, many lies that people will have a great deal of difficulty trying to cope with. And yes, the healers <clears throat> will be of great service at this time. Beautiful. Is there many awakened to these atrocities now? There are. <clears throat> There are many, but uh, there are many also much more who are not aware. How will it be relieved, revealed to these masses? It will be made public on a system that will begin to show people, tell people, information through technology what has been going on and this will begin soon beautiful how can we help those who did not know about any of this programming when it comes out by the healers, the healers, the healing, what you're doing, what Debbie is doing. Beautiful. Are we going to a new physical earth or is it an energetic earth? It's complicated to explain that <clears throat> in that we create our world energetically. There, <clears throat> there will be a world energetically. The new so-called planet is felt, seen <clears throat> by those who are on a higher vibration. So we don't actually leave this earth. Our frequency increases and we see the new earth. Yes. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Beautiful. Is our earth much bigger than we believe? And is there a whole other area that we've been kept from knowing? Again, <clears throat> our reality is what we perceive it to be. We as a collective can 
create what we create. There is, and there can be another area, if you will, yes, that those who are on the planet are not aware of. That eventually will be made public with the revelations. Beautiful. I can't wait for that time. Do we yes. really? Is there anything else you want to expand on that or is that complete? That's complete. Do we really have the ability to manifest and create our life and our world and have forgotten this? Yes, we have the ability to create. Humans have the ability. Those with souls have the ability to create. As we are connected directly to source, we are part of source, we are fractals of source. We can create and manifest, however, when our when the beings who are becoming and are more evolved, if you will, they will be able to manifest instantly. However, you need to be in a higher vibration in order to do this. Otherwise, it would be a very detrimental thing. Beautiful. I can't wait for us to get to that point. You are already at that point. Mm. Tony. Beautiful. I appreciate that. Is there any messages uh, for me? You are doing very well. You are taking and you the path that you were chosen before you arrived here on earth this was your chosen path and you will help many people by what you're doing your light is bright thank you your light is a drawing factor to people for people they will be drawn to you So beautiful. Thank you for that message. Are you welcome? Do you have any final messages for Debbie at this time? Just to continue and not doubt herself. She is a healer. She is a powerful healer and has been for many lifetimes. We are so happy that she is so strong to be here and to help others at this time. It does not go unnoticed. Beautiful. Can I ask? you to keep upgrading the body and continuing with the healing that may be needed for Debbie over the past three nights in her sleep states? Yes. Beautiful. Thank you. Is there any final messages you would like to give Debbie? Are we complete? Your tribe. You will bring your tribe. You will all be together. Don't forget that we, you, are all one. We are all source energy. That's good. Beautiful. Is there anything else? Are we complete? We are complete. 
Beautiful. I want to thank you so much for coming through today and conversing with me. Thank you for all the help, healing, and wisdom that you have provided today. And now I'm going to ask the higher self of Debbie to recede with much love and much thanks for all the information they have gotten today. We are asking the higher self to recede back into the time, space, reality, dimension, and location in which they belong with much love and much thanks. When the client wakes up from this session today, they will be feeling fantastic. They will feel rejuvenated, re-energized. They will feel energy coursing through their body and notice that they have a higher frequency due to the connection that Debbie made with the higher self today. And in a moment, I am going to count to 10. And on the count of 10, you will be wide awake and feeling wonderful all over. One, two, feeling the breath becoming faster. Three, four, beginning to move the legs and arms around. Five, six, becoming more aware of the room and the space around you. Seven, eight, coming up nicely now, very nicely now. Nine, ten, wide awake, wide awake, wide awake, stretching, rubbing your face, and feeling wonderful all over. Yip, yip, gee, gee. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Beautiful. What a wild ride. Holy. <laughs> you can say holy shit. It's 111. I know. <laughs> oh, <Holy>. that's awesome. <laughs> so we are uh, in we are in a lot longer than than I planned, of course. Um, but I didn't want uh, you were I think channeling at one point you were channeling information from the higher self and I did not want to interrupt what was going on so I have no idea I remember we, some of it we went a little longer yeah so wow. how are you feeling I feel great and I feel really good I feel light <laughs> I, I do feel different yeah that's yeah. awesome. I love yeah, it. Yeah, I feel pretty light. I love it. I'm I feel getting, different. I do. I'm getting all excited in the chair as I'm doing this. It was it was a lot of fun. It was um, pretty cool. I mean, I could feel I could feel the energy when you started channeling your higher self. I mean, it it really I could what part feel it was coming. That? Well, it was after uh, you saw the life of the healer where you were sitting on the beach. Oh, that was pretty cool. Um, I mean, you basically kind of ch started channeling your higher self. I did? <laughs> yeah. I did. No idea. I didn't feel the need to progress you anymore in that lifetime. I think I think that was exactly what you needed to see today. And the higher self, and I questioned the higher self to make sure that that was all you needed to see. And There was a name. I was somebody else in that yeah, lifetime. I, that I, was me. I couldn't pronounce. I can't. I couldn't. I couldn't Shil even. I couldn't even write it. Shalot. Sh something. I don't know. I'd have to listen to it again. Shaletta. Sh. Sh. I. I don't know. I've never even heard that name. Shaletta. Sh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It was pretty cool though, right? Yeah, it was very awesome. Oh very my awesome. god! So come. That yeah. was pretty awesome. Yeah, that was amazing. Those weird, those entities, woo. <laughs> that one in my solar plexus was like, how it looked was like fingers. Um, like I'm only describing, and there was like a shitload of them. Uh -huh. And it was like these brown, yucky, like it looked like 
a lot, like hundreds of this dark brown. And I could feel it. I could feel it in my abdomen, like pain. It was, yeah. And that serpent thing, whoa. That was pretty incredible. It's, it's, it wasn't just in my, uh, in my abdomen, like in my colon. It was huge. I mean, huge, huge. Like really big. Wow. Like when it came out, yeah. Well, <laughs> pretty amazing so